Welcome guys to our Google Pixel XL unboxing and mini review. Yes, finally we have Google's first smartphone in-house. Well, their first smartphone that's truly Google from top to bottom. Granted, HTC is building it for them. Design and everything is strictly from Google, even down to the hardware itself. Packaging really simple and slick, white, very limited uh, lettering all around. Taking off the hardcover sleeve, you can tell this is a well done package and I do like that. It's really easy for consumers to get into. And at the corner here, we have, uh, of course, notation, Pixel XL 5.5, quite black, 32 gigabytes. Really nice and clean, so you open up the top, the other pocket, you have a USB to USB cable here. So this is a straight up USB to USB cable for your charging. You can probably use it for data transfer on devices that will support USB, of course, if it's like newer laptops or the new um, um, Apple, Apple Book or MacBook, sorry, whatever it's called. Uh, so you can use that there. That is the travel charger. This is universal, so it will work here in the US as also internationally. And that's it on that side. Now here is our Pixel XL here on the left. We're gonna take it out and take a closer look in a second, but let's look at everything else we have in here. So we have, of course, little pamphlets with uh, user information. We also have a SIM removal tool, and you can see it just shows you all the things that you might want to look at here, Google Music Play, all that fun stuff, Google Assistant. Uh, so some useful information if you want to know more about that, uh, besides, of course, what I'm gonna tell you in this video. And now below that here, you have a USB to USB-C cable, so regular USB-A to USB-C. This, of course, will be used for data transfer on your device. And then you have this little adapter tool here, which you can use uh, for, say, your USB to uh, Lightning, or USB to micro USB, whatever you want to use it for, you can. So you can use data transfer from one device to another, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, let's take a closer look, of course, at the Pixel XL itself. So this is the Excel 5.5 inches. At the back, you can see here, a really nice finish. And there on the very top where the fingerprint sensor is, that is Gorilla Glass. Uh, so it's actually glass where the fingerprint sensor, you have, of course, your 12 megapixel camera, which has largest pixel size. And you can see the glass reflect off uh, some of the uh, artwork I have on my wall. At the bottom, USB Type-C connector, there is fast charging. Your, of course, your speaker location is also at the bottom there. Really nice design, I have to say. The power as well as the volume rocker on the right-hand side of this device. Looks flush, looks clean. That is a 5.5-inch display, QHD display. Uh, and again, same Gorilla Grass front and back. Uh, you've got an 8-megapixel uh, front-facing camera. And uh, this is powered by Snapdragon 821 processor with, of course, four gigs of RAM. SIM um, slot right there on the left-hand side. And uh, you've got your headphone jack on the very top of this device. Now, this doesn't have any expandable storage. You have 32 or 128. You do have your SIM slot. You can use Verizon, which you can pick up with Verizon stores, or any. if you buy it unlocked, you can use any SIM on this device. So let's power this device on and see what we have. This is a new animation. We're gonna speed through things up for you so you can get at least a, a good idea of how setup process is. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward um, altogether. I initially used my SIM for some reason, it just didn't work, and I it was gonna. I'm gonna switch over to Wi-Fi as you guys will see in a second. But it's a very straightforward process, a little cleaner. I think the first setup takes a little bit of time in terms of uh, just setting things up, but I did like the very clean interface and also the clean look to it. So skip an email there. Of course, I'm gonna name the device. This is gonna be Thunder Pixel because I like to name all my devices Thunder or whatever. Setting up the fingerprint is also pretty easy. Uh, you can set up multiple fingers uh, for your fingerprint sensor, and it's easy to basically just switch between finger to finger and actually go ahead and set that up. So here is our Pixel XL. Now we have our own custom wallpaper, of course, as usual. So use the link down below if you want to download that custom wallpaper. Uh, of course, on the screen, you have, of course, your Google Home. Uh, you also have Google Assistant, uh, which you can also use prompts from OK Google to actually fire it up. 
and it's actually quite useful. I was able to, uh, you can, you know, you can look for locations and map it directly from uh, your Google Assistant, which is really nice. Uh, the uh, this is of course under running Android 7.1, so you can see the app tray uh, doesn't have a see-through screen, so I miss my wallpaper. Uh, as we can go up into our settings menu, uh, you can see just the overall look of the way things are. Very, you know, it's, it is Android 7.0. It uh, tells you right there on the bottom you have a very clean uh, sentence interface, but you can see there's a tab, it says all and then there's support. So you have direct customer support on the device, which is good because Google in the past hasn't been known well for good customer support. So I like, I like the fact you can see this here. Now, if you double tap the home button, that is a gesture feature that opens up your camera. So that's a quick access to the camera, similar to how Samsung has the double tap home. This is of course considered one of the best cameras on the planet. You can see twist to actually switch to the front facing camera. It doesn't twist back to switch back to your rear camera, but this is touted as the best camera ever on a smartphone. So we're gonna definitely test it out fully. See how it compares to other devices like the S7 Edge, Note and all that fun stuff. Now, another cool feature is that you can use your finger, your fingerprint sensor to slide down the notification bar. So slide down and slide back up. So that's also a nice feature if you want to quickly check out your notifications, you're holding your phone, quick access to it uh, by sliding on the fingerprint uh, no, no, fingerprint sensor itself. That was a pretty nice device, but when you compare it size-wise to something like a Galaxy S7 Edge, it's actually a little bit larger. You can see some of the design accents with that bigger chin at the bottom of the top, but we'll definitely spend time comparing it to the S7 Edge, iPhone 7 uh, Plus, uh, as well as also other devices that fit into that category, so stay tuned for that. Overall, I do like what I see from the Google XL in terms of hardware. We'll spend more time, of course, with the software. We'll check out how good that camera really is. We know in photos, low light, as well as video, because it doesn't have OIS built into the camera. But we'll spend time and we'll give you our full thoughts on it. But this is just a quick mini review on what it has here. A Google Assistant, I really do like right now, just because of its flow between uh, me asking it to do certain things and also location switching to maps and all that kind of fun stuff. But but if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Pixel XL, let me know. Um, I will definitely try and add them to the full review and also, also some of our comparison videos. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to download that wallpaper, you can use the link down below. And if you're looking to pick it up, you can pick it up in stores tomorrow at Best Buy or Verizon stores and also directly from Google. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.